Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. Let's talk about how and where you carry your tactical folding knife. I'm here with Mike Janish from Tactical Blade Concepts. How Mike, you know? thanks for coming in again. Thanks for having me. Most people carry a tactical folder. How and where should they carry it to be most effective? Basically, the first thing you want to look at is how the knife is positioned based on being able to clip it to your pocket. So right. one of the things you'll find, one of the, the characteristics you'll find of modern tactical folding knives is some kind of a pocket clip. Mm -hmm. and what that does is it allows it, unlike a traditional pocket knife that would just sit in the bottom of your pocket with your keys mm -hmm. and your change and everything else, this actually allows you to attach it to the top of the pocket so it's much more accessible for a quick draw, which mm -hmm. is one of the things you want, obviously, for you need any, to be able to get that any kind of a person. play when you need it. Right. For a personal defense weapon, you got to be able to get it out there. So what you're looking at is basically the difference between what's called tip up carry and tip down. So tip up, what that means that in the closed position, the point of the blade faces upward. Okay. Tip down, logically, in the closed position, it faces downward. Now the thing with tip down carry, I'm not a big fan of tip down carry. And the reason for that is if we look at the mechanics of how that works, first of all, I have the knife carried in my pocket this way. When I go to draw this, I have to draw it and the grip that I get is not a using grip. No, we're uh, completely off center there. Exactly. If you think, think back to your gun stuff, when you're doing a draw stroke with a firearm, what you're doing is getting that master grip, three mm -hmm. fingers mm -hmm. on the handle, yes. straight yeah. trigger finger. You draw that. When it comes out, you've already got your firing grip established when your hand is on the gun in the holster. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when we draw this, we're not even close. So what we have to do is pivot this in our hand, have to have a fine motor skill manipulation before we can open the knife. Yeah. And one extra step, two extra steps maybe in there, that's a good opportunity to drop that knife. Exactly. When you look at the amount of skin that you have on the handle as well, when you draw that, you can't get a full grip. Unlike a pistol where you have the grip of the pistol exposed for that three finger grip, everything is concealed here. Mm -hmm. So when I go to grab that and I draw this out, I've only got my thumb and a little bit of my index finger on that and I've got to be able to manipulate that to get it into play. Yeah. Really not a good way to go. So One of the other things about this, this is an assisted opening knife, which means that once you open it manually part way, basically the spring will kick in, it'll open the rest of the way. Okay. If you're carrying an assisted opening knife like this, you have to think about where that blade would open if it opened accidentally. So in this case, it can open freely into the open part of the pocket. Obviously that poses a serious danger to me as far mm -hmm. as safety goes. So if we contrast that with tip up carry, which is my preference, when you put the knife in your pocket, tip is facing upward, when I go to draw, I reach in here and I'm already in that master grip. I'm in a position to where I can open the knife, be able to use the knife with very little manipulation. And from this position, I can see you've got a good grip on that knife already. You've got three fingers on there and, and your thumb's right on the hole to flip open the... Exactly. Blade. A lot more surface contact as far as mm -hmm. uh, my skin on the handle of the knife. And what's also nice about it, if I were carrying something that was an assisted opener, now the back of the blade faces the seam at the back of my pocket. So I've got that additional measure of safety that it's not going to open accidentally. Mm -hmm. And what's great about this also, if I need to prep my draw, if we look at surreptitious draws, if we look mm -hmm. at, you see the signs of potential danger. Right. You can't draw a weapon yet, but we know that the slowest part of the draw is getting your hand to the weapon, not so much the weapon coming out. All I have to do is this. So I just stuck my thumb in my pocket this way. It can be, hey, take it easy. Yeah. What's going on? I could be assessing a situation. I've prepped my draw, but I haven't done anything that's overtly um, provocative or yeah, anything like that. There's I'm no not danger of you being charged with menacing or exactly. brandishing or anything like that. I'm not that. escalating the situation, yeah. but I can right. simply put my thumb in my pocket this way. I can be able to address the situation. If I need the knife and I need to draw it, I can draw, open, and get it into play very quickly mm -hmm. because I've taken the slowest part of the draw out of the situation. Outstanding. So I'm voting for tip up carry on the strong side pocket yep. because you're going to be using your strong hand most of the time anyway. Exactly. And practice, practice, practice. We want right. to be able to get this knife into Exactly. The, the folding aspect of a knife is something that adds an additional mechanical element into the draw. Mm -hmm. Obviously, again, if we use the analogy of drawing a pistol, once you draw the pistol, other than maybe operating a safety, there's not a whole lot that you have to do to be, be able to bring it into play. With a folding knife, once you draw it, it's not a knife yet. You yeah, still have to go through that other process. Still of, an impact weapon until exactly. you get it open and exactly. then it becomes an edge weapon. Well, thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate the time. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. If you like these videos, please share them with all your friends and remember to subscribe to our page. We'll give you more great information every week.